Hey, 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 Superior Shea fans and other humans, how are you doing today? It's uh, 3 of March 2022, and today, a person from the United Kingdom named of Haywood from, hope I'm saying this right, Snyton, Nottingham, has purchased uh, this razor model, the Dovo Sunday Shaver, and he also bought the Carborundum Stone that I shaped to a six, oh, sorry, a four foot diameter. You can see here, it's very, uh, very curved. He bought both of these and he asked to have me further hone the razor using this so that his bevel would be thinner than it is from the factory. So here is the razor. Let me take off. They don't use this little watch out decal anymore, but these were made um, four years ago. They were made in early 2018 for us and we still have uh, oh, we had, they had this one, and we had the one with the U wood, and then we had the blank face, and we have about 75, 80 pieces left of the all four put together. There you go. So the first thing I'm going to do is check how straight this cutting edge is. And uh, I think you will notice, without exception, that... Uh, Razors that are made in Solingen uh, that are using that one spinning disc, every single razor that, if it's as wide as the blank of steel would allow, it will be widest about a centimeter away from the heel over here and a centimeter away from the toe there. So technically speaking, it is a frown. And I noticed the new Dovo razors that are 5 8 they're shorter and they're straighter because they're just choosing to grind off more to sell you a less wide razor but a straighter line because people will shop based on the straight line rather than having a wider razor which to me is more important because it's more concave. Uh, I can choose to correct that. I don't really know what he would want. I suppose I will shorten it up a little bit there and I'm gonna ignore it there. To get off a little bit of heel, I am going to use this little black Arkansas, what is this, three inches by one inch approximately, but it's quite flat here. And so what that'll do is, when you use a flat thing, you're going to go to the very end of the cutting edge. And we're just going to take some ballast oil and put it on here, and deliberately burn off otherwise wonderful steel, just to make it straighter. You get the idea of that. So I'm going to work back that little heel area. I may have to switch to something a little faster until I get that part maybe a sixty-fourth of an inch narrower. Here's a flat codicle that I just keep around only for this dumb little task. Well that's enough of that. If he wants to throw a perfectly good razor to win a pointless contest, I wish him all the love in the world. That's straight ballast all, and here we go. Time for the serious bevel thinning. This is, to me, the most important step. gets a little boring, so I'll see you in about five minutes. Three by eight inch stone that is shaped as a six foot wheel with a 25 foot diameter. That'll go on for five minutes or more at least. Now we're on to the large diameter cylinder, 60 by 250 millimeter cauticle. I 
I need to do a little bit on the ground there. I'll see you in a bit. I happen to know this fellow prefers the Cauticule to the Arkansas Stone, which is my preference at this point. So I will indulge and use my La Grosse Blanche Cauticule. First I'm going to face as much straight down this the length of the stone to get at the edge, which is very thin at this point. And then I'm going to try to do my bending trick I told you about before. Something I hope you can see is that when you use this diluted ballast all and you get it real thin, I'm speaking of the razor now, not the solution. The solution builds up on the razor between the belly of the razor and the beginning of the rear of the bevel. How about just a dozen or so straight down Main Street? And then we'll wipe and strop. Being as it's a cauticule, I will use this paste with the Delvo white stuff on it first. I'm going to take this strop and put it behind there. And, uh, use this shape because that fits in that block well. That's six and a half feet. And then I will switch to this long kangaroo covered strop behind here. And then I will finish with this longer diameter. This is like 30 foot diameter or so. And I am sure that that thing will be thinner than you could possibly imagine. So Mr. Gary, I would recommend when you get the razor and you want to top it off, just stick to flat things and you will just be touching a wafer thin piece of the tip of the razor. And it will take quite a long time for that to thicken enough that it, you would uh, want to use the concave thing again. No doubt you heard that pinging sensation. I've got a lot of these sewned in calf hides. Uh, this one, surprisingly to me, is the best one. Let's see if I can get it a little closer to the camera. Paraphrasing the immortal James Shue of B&H Photo, a lot of razors are look good, no work good. This is work good, no look good. Okie dokie, see you next time. Bye-bye.